Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 where we're playing as Theodora and we got the war train going. Now here's the thing, I believe that we are in control of quite a few of these delightful enemy capitals. We've got two already. Um, so actually, funny enough, there's actually going to be five religions in the game. We've only controlling two of them. So I got, I got to find where the next religious capital is that I could take control of. Like, where's the capital of Buddhism? It looks like the holy city is Thebes. So if I convert Thebes, I'll get another plus three combat strength on my units, which seems like a pretty damn good deal. So we need to find a city nearby with room for a couple of missionaries. What's the religious pressure in here? Yeah, we just need like one or two missionaries. That'll get her done. And we'll be all happy, all juicy. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and recall Hippolyta to use her as the Gigachad Omega um, artillery herder. I guess that's probably the, the best way to describe her as an artillery herder. And then otherwise, we're just like, we're using little builders that we stole to improve our territory. We're sending little scouts around. I'm going to get him killed by a galley because that feels good. Kabul is over here. I don't think we care about Shadet. I think we just let that flippity doo -dah, flippity day all on its own. We could go for the city of Swinnet as well, which is technically the new capital. I mean, there's a couple of pillages in here, right? Pillage, 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 pillage. There's a ton of faith and a ton of, ton of stuff over here. So I'll send like two tanks off in this general direction and see if we can't uh, make a little bit of cash from the old uh, pillaging. But otherwise, we got business as usual. Oh, wow, this actually does major victory. I guess my tanks could possibly actually kill that city. Um, so probably the next person we go for is Machu 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 Kuti. Pacha Kuti the Kuti. He's got a relatively small empire. Does he have a holy city? That is an important question. The holy city of Palenque. Hello, mama. It looks like it's over here, potentially, actually. So we're going to go ahead and declare a little golden age war. Hey, how's it going, bud? He's a little mad about it. Listen, that's his right. If he wants to be super duper 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 mad, he could be super duper 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 mad. You know, it's it's funny. Um, we're going to talk. We're, get, we're getting into the late game. So this is where we're going to start talking about, you know, personal lives, random ass stuff. One thing that I have just really struggled with in my relationships right let, let me let me know my guy friends out here if you're all occasionally have some struggles in relationships okay it happens okay but right but this is a theme that i have noticed um in in my relationships and it comes up again and again now i am uh heterosexual okay for all intents and purposes for all practical you know for purposes, I date women and I am a man. I'm a cis presenting man and I date cis women, generally speaking. That is not a hard and fast rule. That's just, you know, that's the habit I'm into. And it's, you know, it's kind of how things are working right now. Um, something I have run into as a man, and uh, give me a hallelujah in chat, if you have also run into this, is getting my feelings acknowledged um, as existing. So now I will fully and readily admit that I am not the greatest communicator of my feelings, okay? However, I feel like I'm super direct about those feelings. So I will say something to the effect of, I felt X. Like, let's say I felt unheard when you did this thing in response to me telling you about my feelings. All right, let's say I tell you my feelings. Let's say, hey, I felt a little bit, you know, X, Y, Z when you did this thing. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of a good example. It's like, hey, when you called me, like our cutesy... I don't know. Let me, let me, let me think about this. I got to think of a good example. Damn, why is it so hard to think of an example on this? Man, it's actually really hard to think of an example. Like, let's say, um, I say to you, hey, uh, when I was telling you about my weekend, you didn't answer my question. That made me feel really unheard. And like what I was saying to you wasn't important. Whenever I say things like this to women, they immediately go hyper defensive mode completely ignore any of my feelings and they're like what are you so you're blaming me or like why are you attacking you know they they go into like super defensive mode if a woman comes to me and says something like that i'm like okay cool yeah listen my bad i was a little bit distracted sorry your feelings are legitimate totally 100 percent makes sense oops totally my bad and I, I i just actually can't tell anymore if if it's like, is this just a woman thing? Because I've I've only recently have I decided that I want to get into serious relationships, right? For a hobby. No, no. Like, you know. And so this issue has just started coming up. And I, it's it's like a, 
Ouroboros of insan like craziness that I just can't seem to get through. I can't seem to communicate that, hey, listen, my feelings exist. And like, maybe it would be cool if you acknowledge that. It's, it's an issue that I've run into so many times now. And I, I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I, is it, it can't just be me. Because I feel like I am stating my feelings, like, super straightforwardly. This is what I feel. This is why I feel this way. Or rather, this is the thing that made me feel this way. I need you to say that you understand that I feel this way. And I never get to the... I never get to the part where they say, I understand that you feel this way. I never get to that point and I don't understand why. I don't get it. It just, I don't get it. I don't know how we don't get there. I think it's like this weird thing where, am I just, am I, should I just not be expecting my partner to acknowledge my feelings? Am I supposed to be an emotional robot in my relationship? I don't know. I don't understand why it doesn't work. I feel like... I'm, I've got a missing piece of the puzzle. Anyway, right, listen, hugely relevant, hugely relevant to my life in recent times. This has not just been like one relation. This has come up many, many, many times for me. And um, I think I, it, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. I've got to be doing something fundamentally wrong with how I'm communicating my feelings or women just actually don't know how to deal with men's feelings. It's, it's one of the two. So... I want to hear what you guys say in the comments. I, I, I cannot be crazy. Like, I, I feel like the, the statement is like, you know, if you're the common denominator, maybe you're the problem. Like, that has come into my mind, and I'm like, am I the problem? And I'm, I'm seriously questioning it, because I feel like I'm communicating in, like, a really straightforward way. But it's the message I'm trying... Like, so it's got to be me, right? I'm the problem. I have to be. There's something I'm doing wrong in that process of communicating my feelings. Like maybe I'm doing it when the person ain't ready to hear it, right? That's that's a fair point. So somebody said that to me. It's like, well, did you make sure that the other person was ready to hear about your feelings? And I'm like, you know what? Sometimes I don't do that. Sometimes I just drop them on people. And you know what? That's not fair. You got to give people a little warning before you 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 know you emotionally you know drop the a bomb, the emotional a bomb, not like a uh, like an actual bomb. Uh, Hippolyta, go ahead and wake up that artillery for me. But yeah, man. I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy sometimes. Trying to get my feelings acknowledged. Oh, can we take Mycenae this turn? We can't. Oh, we can't. Well, we'll at least we'll get a few pillages off. That'll be nice. Yeah, I don't know. But like, see, so, so the reason I'm like, I'm having a moment here is that this comes up in like every relationship. So I, I, I'm the common denominator, you know what I mean? So I've got to be doing something wrong. And so I'm really trying to figure out what it is that I'm doing wrong. So I want to hear your feedback. Have you guys ever had an experience like this where you're trying to communicate your feelings and somehow the other person is just not hearing them? And like, what was what was something you did that actually like fixed this in like either a friendship or an intimate relationship? I don't care who it was. I just want to know because like I, I'm not a robot. I have feelings. And really at the end of the day, okay, I want two things. First of all, if I can't deal with my feelings on my own, I will go to someone, usually a male friend, with the objective of like f understanding that feeling more. And what do I do about this feeling? When I go to a woman, I want them, like, like an intimate partner, for example, I want them to say, your feeling exists. Um, which is what I do for women, because that's what they want. And I don't understand how they don't do it back. <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. It, it feels like going crazy out here. I can't tell if it's me anymore. I'm worried it's me. Um, so yeah, give, give me your feedback on that one. That was a little, little bit of a personal rant there. Hey, you don't get them very often. But yeah, I was thinking back on like a couple of previous relationships of mine and stuff like that. And like for sure, okay, there's been moments where I've been super immature, right? I've given people the silent treatment, not out of like I'm punishing you because I'm giving you the silent treatment, but I'm legitimately like just too emotionally overwhelmed to actually have a conversation about my, you know, about my or your feelings. And I'm so unable to have that conversation that I can't even tell you that I'm unable to have that conversation, right? Like I've been in that place before, which is a really shitty place to be. And it makes the other person feel like trash. Totally get it. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm not like intentionally doing this. It's just like, you know, I'm a, I'm a dude who probably wasn't given the sufficient tools to deal with his emotions. Like probably a lot of men weren't. And I'm trying to work through it. I'm doing my best out here. Um, a little acknowledgement of that fact would go a long way for me. Thank you. Nice. We just got a 
Source of power somehow. I don't know how we did that. Oh, we got industrialization. That's right. So we must have had a coal power plant built by someone else. Uh, I think we'll do like a round of pillaging here to get what we need and what we wanted. What we need. Kill that city, please. Perfect. Convert to another city. Uh, is Mycenae a holy city? Out of curiosity. No, it does not look like it, but we are doing some conversions here. In fact, we are potentially able to get a religious victory here before the domination victory goes through. But my Giga Empire of Giga Chattery is, uh, I mean, it's doing some work here. Right, let's step forward with you. Blast the city of Corinth. Move there. Shadoosh, shadoosh. Boom, boom, boom. Attack the city. Attack the city. Let's blow up the city of Corinth. Kaboom. Thank you very much. For your money, for your everything, really. Uh, Fire Solos, we don't need to capture. So I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Maybe I... Did I have too big of an army down here? I need to do a little bit of scouting. I uh, may as well turn you into a tank. We got a good bit of cash in the bank. All right, so what's going on here? Oh, the double pillage on Sun Wukong is a thing of majestic, majestic beauty. All right, Sousa has been blasted. Let's take it. Kaboom. Belongs to me now. Um, we can blast Kuzku. Can I step forward and blast Kuzku? Oh, yes, we can. Um, yeah, you need to go there. Oh, I'm loving how many tanks I have. Like, it honestly, it feels amazing to just completely dunk on cities uh, left, right, and center. Dude, a tank timing push just feels mwah, chef's kiss. Mwah. It's a beautiful, Beautiful thing. We do a little pillaging. I mean, I don't even know why I bother pillaging anymore, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, we kind of have everything we need. Resource-wise. Oh, who's this? Is this Australia? We found Australia. He's over here somewhere. Yeah, you can see his borders bumping up against the city-state, so we know where his house is. And now we just gotta, you know, take control of Nan Madal. Hopefully this will give me scouting info. Oh my god, it did. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a really awkward... Thing. I might have to kill some city-states here. Ooh, let's make some tanks, baby. So I don't think we care about Ad Adelaide or Launston or any of these things. I think we're just going to go straight for the throat and go for Canberra. Does that involve getting into the water? I think if we get into the water, we open ourselves up to naval shenanigans. Naval shenanigans don't seem very cool. Um, but we could go straight for Canberra. How many capitals do I have and how many do I need? I've got four of the seven capitals captured. Um, I don't, don't know where their original capital is, but it does look like it could be somewhere in here because they did get attacked. What's this? Where is your capital? Okay, there's Kuzku. So that's one. And there's one in here. And there's one in here. So actually, this might be a pretty quick episode. It might be real quick, um, actually. Now that we thought about it, but we, you know, we'll go down here, we'll attack Johannesburg. The old, I believe that's South Africa? The capital? Is it the capital of South Africa? I don't remember. It's somewhere, man. It's somewhere. Hey, question for the developers of Civ 6. Why isn't Dublin a, uh, a city-state? Listen, it's a big city for you. It's a reasonably sized city. It should, it should be a city-state, in my opinion. That's what we need. We need like a, um, we need like a city-state expansion pack. That'd be fun. Um, Johannesburg actually will quite literally just fucking die, uh, which is great because uh, we're converting more cities in the process. Uh, we have already secured ourselves a nice little golden age. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on. Da -da. I forget what the lyrics of that song are. I just remember that it, I remember the tune vaguely. Honestly, that's how I experienced like 95% of music. I don't remember what the song was actually about. I just remember like the super basic um, stuff, like the tune and the general theme of the song. Like that song is about waking up, right? You know? Yeah. After a sleepover? A special kind of sleepover. Um, let's go ahead and build a zoo. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta do some construction in here. Um, yeah, you know, generally speaking, when you're like blowing up an empire, you and, and you capture it, you tend to inherit something that's a little bit ramshackle, a little bit a little bit, you know, a little bit toved in, a little bit caved in. Um, I'm gonna take couscous here. A little bit of couscous. Uh, let's get our little artilleries over to the location of explosion. Wanaku needs to go down. Do a little pillaging. Oh, there's flight. Um, so I guess we'll do an aerodrome of the capital. Sure. It's a good place as any. Blast Wanuku. Blast Wanuku. We need to find the Mayan capital. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and denounce her. I'll leave Kitukara alive and Pisak because we have basically everything we need here. Pisak does not sound like what I was trying to... That city name is, uh, you know, a little, a little weird. Go, uh, we we'll go hang out. Peace Act, dude. Mm-hmm. Peace Act's library. Peace Act's housing. 
Right, we have flight. Let's go for bombers. I could have gone technically straight for Rarty. But I think you got to go basically through flight, flight to get Rarty anyway. So... Now that we have aerodromes, actually, instead of going for advanced flight, we could go straight for yet bombers. The problem is they're 700 production each. Whereas you compare that to a normal bomb, 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 bomber being 560, it's quite a bit cheaper. Not that much cheaper, though. Quite a bit cheaper. Have I not hit aluminium? What the f Oh, I need to get radio first. Yeah, I guess I need radio. So we may as well go for advanced flight first. Uh, repair the monument, repair the... Every city that I conquer is just like a repair fest. But you know... Um, one of the things I've slowly come to value more and more in my life is a strong friend group of people you can trust to talk about things going on in your life. This is something I super undervalued uh, previously in my life. And uh, like just being able to go to and talk to someone and be like, hey, this person said this thing that made me feel this way. And this situation doesn't involve you whatsoever. What do you think? Am I being a little crazy for feeling like I got slighted? And sometimes those people, they're just like, yeah, you're fucking crazy. And that's what you needed to hear that time. And I think I've slowly come to value that an awful lot. Um, so shout out to Adam and Martin. Appreciate you two for being my uh, emotional Sherpas. Carried me up the Mount Everest of uh, fuckitude. But you know, that's just, this is life. Um, I think you start to develop, you start to like really figure out, I feel like what's important as you, as you, as you kind of crest through your twenties and you start to get a little bit of independence and you start to, you know, really figure out what you want in life. You start to figure out um, how you work and how the world works and which bits of that you don't like and the things you do like and what you want. So like me, I want to meet your mom every weekend, baby. Woo, yeah. Um, so we're going to take out the city of Oh, we're going to declare war on Australia. So we're going to declare a golden age war. This will give him 100% production, but it's kind of necessary. We're also going to declare golden age war on Maya. So now we're in the Giga War, um, the Giga War that never ends. Uh, it's a free city here. I may as well keep that. That killed another player. Should wipe out a little bit of our war weariness. Um, surprised the AI never built the basics here. Get a shipyard for a little bit of cash. Stupa been built. Let us build the Hippodrome. Hippodrome. My God, there is a song that was dredged up from the deep depths of my memory. Killing a bunch of units gets you era score, which is nice. Plus, it spreads your religion, which is always beautiful. I kind of love the, 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 the Byzantine spread religion via warfare thing. It's honestly so fun to do. Delete the settler. We don't need it. Because um, you, you literally just need like a missionary or two walking around behind your army every, every now and again to, to kind of clean things up. Oh, Willy Waman is, uh, is rebelliousizing. I think we're going to go for it anyway, just so we can get things smashed away. Where is this convoy? Here it is. We've got the supply convoy on the way. The, the plus one movement speed on the supply convoy for your, um, for your arty is actually super strong. I think at this point, I should probably stop building units. Um, the units that reach the front line now are just kind of pointless, I feel. So I'm just going to build infrastructure like factories and random ass crap. Like, I don't know, just do holy side prayers. Why not? Build a granary and do encampment training. Why not? Um, this sort of stuff is probably more important than the other stuff that we are doing. Boom, we blow up the city. It looks like Australia actually has fairly weak cities potentially here. So this might be a very quick war. Canberra looks like it's wide open. It does look like he built Edamanike actually based on those yields in his capital. But you know... We're getting to work on it. I gotta say though, like, even though I sometimes I'm going through stressful moments in my life or things are difficult or like I'm having trouble in like my personal relationships that I can't like navigate or control. I gotta be honest with you guys. YouTube is like that stable, perfect job. I, I love this work so much that if I'm ever feeling blue, I can just actually work on YouTube. And it like, it brings my mood up. I get a pep in my step. I start bouncing around the place. I'm having a great time. It's, it's, I'm so glad that I have a job that I love because I don't know what I wanted to do. I don't know what I would do. Uh, so Constantine to Mogadishu. So I'm going to move this trader over to... Con was it Constantine or Constantinople? Did I say Constantine? Isn't that a movie? Oh, it was Nikea to Mahenjadaro. Right. Okay. Well, I think that trade route actually already exists. Whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll do it live. What if we did it dead? Question mark. Oh, that would actually be, I feel like, a good zombie movie set in like a uh, a right wing newsroom we'll do it dead <laughs> it also sounds like a zombie 
uh, Borno. Replace the... Turn the B upside down. And you'll know what I'm saying. Corn, as they say on the old TikTok. But, uh, we'll do it dead. God, I, ho I hope that exists. Don't tell me if it does in the comments. The comments are already being used to communicate about emotions. You know what's funny? We went from talking about our emotions and our feelings as dudes to talking about corn. Hell yeah. People from Kansas are very confused right now. Um, the place where both types of corn are prevalent. So I've heard. Nothing but corn and corn. I wonder if, was the band Corn with a K also from Kansas? I feel like that's true. I feel like it shouldn't be true. Or rather, if it isn't true, it should be true because it's like universal justice. You know what I mean? All right, so he's got a caravel kind of knocking around the local area, which means I need this guy to blast that caravel, take him out of the picture. Beautiful. Get all the tanks into the water, get all the cavalry, get Hippolyta into the water too. Actually, she can actually use her ability from the water, which is a beautiful thing. Something I super appreciate. All right, we got to blast the city. So we'll give it the old one, two, hullabaloo. Um, where's the old... There we go. There's the supply convoy. Now, the nice thing about the supply convoy is you link it up with one of your arties. Or just try to keep it adjacent to all your arty at the end of your turns. That's why you got to move your arty in like a little triangle. I mean, it works best. You can also have them in a line, but that's why... If you have, it's very easy to keep one supply convoy adjacent to three arty. Um, and then you want to add in a great general, right, to add even more. And then the final one, I think, is an AA gun to keep them safe from air attack. The AI gun is usually less important against the AI if you're attacking early enough into the game to where they don't have a significant air force, uh, which is currently true. Must be the reason. All right, let's blow up Swinette. Boom. All right, what do we got in terms of trade routes? Adrianople to Mogadishu. All right, let's do a little bit of a re, re, uh, relocation of a trade route here. I don't know what to do with these spies. Just go to sleep. I ain't got a job for you no more. We're like, we're done here, kiddo. We did it. We won the game. Well, I mean, it's still a formality, technically. Uh, we haven't taken Canberra yet. Nor have we actually found the capital of the Mayans. That is something we need to consider. I think I'll use old Sunwook, Sunwookie, Sunwookie, Sun, his capital city combat strength went up, god damn it. Um, go ahead and have a little look around with Sun Wukong. There we go. So we go Chichen Itza into Wak Kabnal. That is the play, um, which means we need to bring the artillery up, pillage those trade routes. We're feeling good about that. So to blast Chichen Itza, move you to there, move you to there, and move you to there, then one. A two and a three. That city starts to fall. Can we attack it? We can. Blast it. Come on, tanks. You can do this. Oh, it's just barely not enough. Feels bad, bro. Let's go ahead and combine. That way we have a promotion available. Available. Ooh, two more cities. That's all we need. Two more capital cities and we can put this baby to rest. All right, let's get to work on Canberra. This tank needs to pop in over here, pillage this step there. Uh, you need to just go hog wild pillaging. That is your job. You need to step here. Uh, where's my great general? There you are. Go ahead and give him the permission to blast that city. Hippolyta, get up here. Wake him up. Before you go, go. Let him shoot again. Uh, get up in there. Get up in there. Get up in there. Get up. Get up. up. Get up. Get up. Uh, yeah, let's get up. All right, let's get going. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Bam, ba -ba uh, God, why are these random builders just asking for orders, man? I don't know. I don't, I just, I don't get it. I don't see why. Mogadishu. Mogadish nut. Oh, let's keep trading. We're over a thousand culture, by the way. Somehow, we're over a thousand culture. Completely unexpected. Don't know how we managed that. I don't even know where the majority of our culture is coming from. Uh, I guess we just have a really big empire. We've captured a lot of cities. Yeah, I guess that's really what it just comes down to. When you have a lot of shit, apparently you just get a lot of culture passively. Because we have a lot of population in our empire. I wonder... I, I wish there was a button or something that I could look at that would tell me the total population of my empire. Because I, I got a lot of pops here, man. We got a lot of pops knocking around. So Canberra needs to be banbred with the old heave ho cannonin. Can you swoop in here and be a blaster? Boom, okay. Canberra, uh, nice to know ya. Can we get you captured? We can. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. So that's the second last city that we need to capture in the game. How many turns does that hold? This will hold it. Is this holding loyalty wise? How do I, where's my, my loyalty button at? Uh, minus 2.3. We got plenty of time. Chichen Itza will fall this turn. You need to promote. You need to blast that city. You need to blast that city. Boom. Plus three error score. We got to move the artillery into position. So artillery here. 
Artillery here, artillery here. One, and two, and three, and four. Sun Wukong, get into position. Monsignor Tanko, combine with this man. Monsignor Tankman. Why can't you come? Oh, you're a tank army already. Okay. Go ahead and blast that city. We may as well. What about you? You'll do a major defeat if you attack that city. Go ahead and just fortify to protect yourself. You head out this way. Uh, blow up that guy. Keep that city. Tank completed. Not that it matters. It's far too late in the game for stuff like that to matter. Um, granary completed. Repair that. And then I guess just do commercial hub investments. That seems fine. Boom, 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 boom. Do all of the repairing. Um, but you know, when talking about relationships, I think I'm getting better at them because I keep trying. Here's the thing. Maybe I'm just rolling the bad dice, okay? And I'm figuring out all the basic stuff that goes into having a real, deep, meaningful, caring relationship. And you gotta kind of, there's like a teething process to that, you know what I mean? Because I figured out that's what I want and I'm not ashamed of what I want. I want someone who I can have fun with, act like a kid with, but also have serious conversations with without it being like, you know, pulling teeth. I feel like I'm really easy to talk about issues with. But I feel like I keep I, I keep having trouble finding people who are easy to talk about issues with. I keep running into that problem. I don't know if I'm crazy, man. I should just start dating fans. That's what I should do. Hey, listen, hit me up in the comments. You want to get beer and pizza and play Civ until 2 a.m.? Um, shit, we're being killed. There's probably, be, there's probably like a bit of a power imbalance if you date your fans. I think that's a little, that's yeah, maybe a little weird. Um, I'm going to go blast this, kill this. Feeling good. And uh, there we go. We got a victory. We got the W, my friends. So it's face In fact, uh, yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode, the end of the series, the end of the Adora. Super fun save. Loving the uh, Holy Side Adjacency stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this series. That's me. I'm Potato by Whiskey. I'm out of here. Bye bye.